In this video, we're going to be looking at a property of a page known as is post back. Throughout the previous videos that we have uh, gone through, we have been talking about post backs, post backs, post backs. And what post back means is that uh, your page, you load a page and uh, you click on a button or you select a radio button which has the auto post back event to be true. I mean, auto post back property to be true, and the page will be post back to the server, and you get any result. So, what happens is the page has a special property known as its post back property, which is used to check if the page load event is executing a fresh page from the server for the first time is executing fresh from the server for the first time or if it has been posted back to the server and it's not a fresh page load <laughs> okay that sounds complicated but it's not so if I type www.google.com for the first time so the first time I get a page that will be my first page load so the page loads for the first time which is fine but subsequent clicking on any um, links on that page will not be a fresh page load anymore it will be a post back so that means i click on something and it's gone back to the page and it's result and it's returning it back to my web browser so we want to check the is post back is used to check if the page is being posted back so we can say page dot is post back which means it's checking to see if the page is post back or it's been executed for the first time so we already discussed the view state property if you remember during I mean during the first view uh, videos that I did I talk about the view state property which stores the value of some con of our some of our controls between post backs so we do not need to reinitialize say for example you initialize an object you set the property of an object to say you say uh, value of uh, x equals to 4 so if you do not use the is post back and uh, you do not use the view state so that means even if you use the view state that means every time you send the page back to the server when the page loads again it's going to reinitialize the value of x to be 4 so every time you click a link x is always going to be 4 to 4 so that means if x was previously 6 and you did not use the view state to study uh, value of the uh, value of the control every time you reload the page is going to be reinitializing the properties of the control I'm going to show you the I mean in a minute but uh, just want to explain it uh, so we do not need to reinitialize the properties of the control so we need to check if this is the first time the page load or if it is a post back if it is a post back we will ru not run the code so there's some calls we do not want to run again if the page is being posted back because we we only want them to be run once when the page loads for the first time so let's just take a look at a very simple example and this example is not the best example in the world but uh, it will make sense to you so i've uh, added a label very simple i've added a label and the button and the label I've set the text on the label to be just message it, it could be anything I don't know that's what came into my mind so and uh, the button here as well is just nothing but a simple button so what I want to attempt is I want to say every time I click on this button okay so let's every time I click on the button which is the button one dot click event I want the label one, the text on the label one to be equals to the text on it previously plus this word message. Okay, so I, let's see if you get that. The label, the text on the label, I want it to be the text that was previously on it plus message. So I want to add this message to whichever message was on it previously. So in C sharp, you do this kind of things sometimes. So this might not be the appropriate time to do it, but just to show you an example. So if I do not include the is post, if I do not check, remember when the page loads, let me show you. When the page loads for the first time, we will set the uh, the text. Let's, let's select the label. The text on the label will be message for the first time. It will be message. So that means if I click the button, uh, it's going to say message and message again because it's going to add the previous value and it's going to add message to it. 
so anyway so let's look at it again so label one the text plus message will be the value of the label one the text so let's run the page and see what that means so as you can see the first time the page loads it set the uh, lab the text on the label to be message so if I click the button so if I click this button now you will see that it had another message to message because I said whichever message is there you have to whichever whichever value whatever the value of the text on you have to add it to message so if I click the button again what is going to happen this message will becomes how many it's going to become three because I said whichever message was there on the label had it so let's click on the button again it had another one so it's going to keep adding a new one it's going to keep adding a new one so but this is not the uh, result that I want to get the reason is because we are not checking for if the page is posted back so we're not checking for it that is why I keep us adding it so what we want to do now is I'm going to now use this method of the page so I'm saying if the page is not post back this exclamation mark that's why I say you have to learn C sharp this exclamation mark means not so I'm checking if the page is not post back then this is the time you have to do this so but if the page is post back then this is not going to be executed so let's see I, I mean you're going to see uh, an appropriate use of this for example let me give you an example say you have uh, a a list of an item and you had three items to the list and you put it inside a page load event so if the page is loading you had three items and you want those three items to be added to your website so what happened is if somebody click on a link and you did not check to see if the page is posted back so that means another time the page page is loaded again another three items will be added and that's not the behaviors that you want so that is why you have to enclose your code inside is page is page is post back event of the page so when you do that that means it's only going to be added the first time the page loads so as you can see now no matter how many times we click the button it's not because this is a, a post back so it's not going to add the message again because um, it's post, uh, the only message is only going to be added the first time the page loads so this is how you use the is post back event and just like I said this is not the appropriate way to actually demonstrate it but I was going to use uh, the uh, I was going to use the ch checkbox list but because or the drop down list but because we have not talked about it um, it might be too complicated so that's why I prefer to use the things that I've been talking about in the past to make things more clearer but in the future I'm going to use any of this once I've talked about them so you can understand more thank you